Hello everyone, welcome to this video by Simply Learn. Today, we are going to dive into the world of problem management in ITIL, which is a crucial aspect of the IT service management. Before we get into the topic, let's start with some basic terminologies and understand how ITIL is connected to this concept of problems. ITIL or the Information Technology Infrastructure Library is a widely adopted framework that provides best practices for delivering high quality IT services. It helps organizations align their IT services with businesses' needs and ensure seamless operations. So what exactly is a problem in the context of ITIL? Well, a problem is the underlying cause of one or more incidents. On the other hand, an incident is an unplanned disruption or impairment of a service. Think of it like this. An incident is the symptom while the problem is the root cause behind it. For example, imagine your computer shows a blue screen error. The blue screen is the incident, but what's causing it? That's the problem we need to solve. It could be due to a faculty driver, memory issue, overheating or a bad display adapter. Without addressing the root cause, the blue screen will keep happening. Problem management is the structured approach to identifying, analyzing and resolving these underlying problems. The goal is to prevent incidents from recurring and minimize their impact on the IT services. In this video, I will guide you through the essentials of problem management in ITIL. We will start by understanding what problem management is, why is it so important. Then we will explore the three main phases and the relationship with other key ITIL processes. The roles and responsibilities, techniques used to manage these problems, key performance indicators to track and the best practices and tips. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you are interested in this field and want to become a certified ITIL professional, join Simply Learn's ITIL certification training course. This course is designed to guarantee your success on the first attempt, helping you ace the ITIL foundation exam. Earn 22 PDUs with our comprehensive learning experience featuring over 30 quizzes, 4 mock tests, 6 simulation assessment and more than 100 premium exam questions. Engage in both live classes and self-paced content, complete with real-life case studies and quizzes. Enroll now and take the next step in your ITL journey. So do not forget to check out the course in the description box below and in the pinned comment. Without further ado, let's get started. So let's start with what is problem management in ITIL? Problem management is a process that helps you identify the root cause of these incidents and find permanent solutions to stop them from happening again. It's all about analyzing and resolving problems proactively so your IT service runs smoothly and consistently. But there's more to unpack. Let's dive a bit deeper. Importance of problem management. First off, why is problem management so important? It helps reduce the number of recurring incidents, minimize downtime, and ensure reliability services. It saves money in the long run by fixing the root causes instead of applying temporary band aids. It keeps your customers happy by providing stable and consistent IT services. It also helps you improve your processes by identifying the areas that need optimization. To understand the importance of problem management, let's look at a real-world example of a company where employees frequently face system crashes due to software conflicts. Each time this happens, productivity takes a hit, causing delays and frustrations. Initially, the IT team applies quick fixes, but the crashes keep recurring. With problem management, the IT team investigates the root causes of these crashes and discovers that a recent software update is incompatible with the other applications. By identifying the root cause, they roll back an update and implement a compatible version. This permanent fix not only stops the crashes, but also improves overall system stability. As a result, employee productivity increases and the company saves money by avoiding repeated downtime and support cost. Let us now discuss how does a problem management work. Let's break down the stages with our example. Problem identification. Spotting potential problems through reported incidents or by monitoring your system. 
For example, the ID team notices frequent system crashes reported by employees. These incidents are flagged during the routine monitoring and through help desk reports. Problem logging. Once the issue is identified, the ID team logs all the relevant details into their management system. This includes the affected service, the impact on employee productivity, and any error messages or related documents. Categorization and prioritization. The logged problems are then categorized based on severity and impact. System crashes affecting many users and causing significant downtime, which are given high priority. Investigation and Diagnosis The IT team conducts a thorough investigation using trend analysis and cause and effect diagrams, discovering that the crashes began after a recent software update, indicating a compatibility issue with existing applications. Workaround and Escalation To minimize disruption, a temporary workaround is implemented. This might involve rolling back the software update on critical systems while a more permanent solution is developed. If the problem is complex, the issue might be escalated to specialized technical terms. Problem Resolution The IT team works on a permanent fix. They develop a compatible software version or a patch that resolves the conflict. Test it thoroughly and then deploys it across the organization. Problem Closure After successfully implementing the solution, the problem record is closed. All relevant documentation is updated to reflect the solution and steps taken. Then we have review. The final step is review of the entire process to identify any lessons learned or areas for improvement. This helps in refining the problem management practices for future issues. But problem management doesn't operate on its own. It's closely linked to the other ideal processes. Let's discuss the relationship between problem management and the other key ideal process, incident management. Incidents often lead to the problem identification. Change management. Resolving problems might require changes to IT infrastructure or services. Then we have the knowledge management. The knowledge base stores information about known errors and solutions. Continual improvement. Problem management aims to identify areas for process optimization. To make all this happen, we need a dedicated team with specific roles. What are the roles and responsibilities in a problem management? According to the ITL framework, let's break it down. First, we have the problem manager. This person oversees the entire problem management process, identifying problems, assigning tasks, managing investigations, and ensuring issues are resolved on time. Then there's the problem owner. They handle specific problems, find the root causes, develop solutions and work with stakeholders to fix the issues effectively. The technical analyst. They dig into the technical details of problems, conducting thorough investigations to find solutions. Then we have the service desk team logs and categorize problem records, link them to existing incidents and find initial support before escalating them to problem management. The change manager accesses how problem resolutions affect ID infrastructure and services, ensuring any necessary changes are planned, tested and implemented correctly. Lastly, other IT support teams like application networks, database support may also be involved depending on the problem. In ITIL, these roles work together to identify, analyze, and resolve problems quickly and effectively, minimizing the impact on the business and maintaining the quality of IT services. Each role is crucial to the problem management process, ensuring everything runs smoothly and efficiently. So how do we effectively manage these problems? Let's discuss some of the techniques used to manage the problems. We can use techniques like root cause analysis to find underlying causes. Then we have the trend analysis to spot patterns and recurring issues. The fishbone diagram to visualize problems. Then we have the brainstorming sessions to generate solutions. Known error databases for quick reference. Let's talk about what KPIs should you track. To track our effectiveness, we monitor key performance KPIs, such as number of open problems, average time to resolve problems, percentage of recurring incidents, cost of problem management activities, customer satisfaction with problem resolution. Let us now talk about some of the best practices and tips for effective problem management in ITIL. 
First, foster a culture of problem reporting within your organization. Encourage everyone to report issues, no matter how small, to catch problems early. Establish a clear process and procedures so everyone knows their role and the steps to follow. Invest in training to develop strong problem management skills across your team. Leverage tool and automation to streamline the process and make it more efficient. Collaborate across IT services management process to ensure a holistic approach to problem solving. Finally, continuously reviewing and improving your practices based on your feedback and experiences. By implementing these practices, you can keep your IT services running smoothly. Save money, prevent recurring issues and keep your customers satisfied. So there you have it folks, a comprehensive overview of problem management in ITIL, complete with real world examples, techniques and the best practices. And with this, we have come to the end of our video. If you enjoyed this video and found it valuable, do not forget to like and share. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.